Hey there, my name is Martin Kutzer. I'm a content developer at Microsoft Learning Experiences. I'm responsible for Exchange, Office 365, SharePoint, and Skype for Business Training. We put together a course dedicated to Exchange hybrid topologies. Hybrid topologies is really important today in Exchange because a lot of organizations want to move to the cloud. One of the ways that you can move to the cloud is to implement a hybrid topology with Office 365. This gives you the ability to move mailboxes from your on-premise exchange environment to Office 365 in a seamless experience that users wouldn't even notice. To be able to do this, you have to set up a few things. So this course will cover how do you set up federation. Federation is required when you want to set up a free busy uh, organizational view across those two entities, Office 365 on the one hand and Exchange on-premises on the other hand. We're going to tell you what's the different supported hybrid topologies that is supported with a hybrid configuration. Then we're going to introduce you to identities in Office 365, things that you need to know when you want to set up a hybrid topology and you want to maybe use something like the Azure AD Connect uh, tools to synchronize your directory with Office 365. Then we're going to tell you how do you implement ADFS. Some organizations need ADFS to support authentication and authorization in Office 365 based on their local Active Directory implementation. And then finally, we're going to take you on a detailed view of the hybrid configuration wizard. So this course is for people that want to specifically look at hybrid topologies. We will focus on the hybrid topology uh, mechanism, how do you set up the configuration, and how you set up federation. Everything that you need to do to support a hybrid configuration with your Exchange Server 2016 on-premise environment. 